Whoa. Never seen this tomb before. What's this tablet? Cleopatra, you have been transported into the future. You are the savior of the galaxy. Hi, Lily Mad. Hi, how are you? Good. Thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to be talking to you and very excited about this new season of Cleopatra. Coming back, how was like, how, how, what we can expect this time around? And, and I want to know if you're happy also to come back. Um, I'm really happy to come back. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> excited that Cleo is back and that I've seen a lot of people be excited for it. So obviously that makes us really excited. And I think the third season is maybe one of the most action-packed seasons, even though it's a pretty action-packed show. Um, but I think on this third one, um, now everyone's aware kind of that Cleo is a savior of sorts. So things obviously take a turn. And there's a lot of things going on that might distract our little heroes from working together as a team and getting their biggest goal, which I, I'm trying to choose my words carefully. I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of ups and downs going on this season. And as, as we're getting closer, I think, to the biggest challenge they'll have to face yet. I think what I like a lot about the, 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 the show, the series, is because she's a, a hero, like a, a, a idol, like from, from the past. And then she goes all the way to the future. And I think that's so good to teach the kids that. What do you like the most about her? And what do you like the most about the whole series? I think while, while recording Cleo, um, I obviously had no idea how, what she was going to look like. I didn't know what the world was going to look like. It was, you know, that was done in production later on. And it wasn't until, you know, we were able to see kind of, we did some ADR and then we had, you know, the, our, our little big premiere, um, for everyone involved in, in the show. Then we really got to see like the world and Cleo and everything. And it was just really cool seeing my voice as you know there and seeing her speak and seeing her you know move and it was really really cute and really exciting to see all the things I got from my own personality or my own way of you know laughing and screaming and, and moving and, and place that into her so it, it's beautiful to see that Cleo is Cleo but she does have a little bit of Lilamar. And I think it was just, I'm obsessed with like really sci-fi cool things about the future. So it was obviously really cool seeing the world that the artist created for, you know, 30,000 years into the future. <laughs> yes, no, it's so, it's so fun. And can you share one of you, you mentioned that you have some, some similar, similarities with her. Can you share one of them with us? I think... The way I think Cleo gets very, very excited very easily. <laughs> and I think she just has this beautiful way of seeing the world with a lot of positivity. And even though she's this, you know, obviously just princess that's used to everything being handed to her and not really taking big responsibilities, it's she's a lot more fearless, I think, that she gives herself credit for, especially being so young and being shoved into this, you know, 30,000 year into the future, years into the future kind of world, and just being like, hey, you're the savior now. So I think I was inspired by her courage, just how courage, courage how much courage she has. And then I think Something that I gave her that I think I have is just being overly excited and laughing at everything and wanting everything to be an adventure. And I just think she has that. We both have that adventure seeking type of deal. <laughs> yes. And you have a lot of like a lot of like uh, experience doing like voiceover, lending your voice to to this to, to the characters, correct? And but what is like the the most difficult if you have any challenges doing these these the voiceover for this series in particular the funny thing is cleo was actually my first big project before this i had only done i think one one or two other projects that were just kind of like a little you know guest star or recurring role and so this was my first time 
with Cleo was my first time having this big opportunity where I was coming in a lot and having solo sh sessions as well as sessions with the other voice actors and just really getting to be a part of the whole process and seeing everything come together and come to life. So I think maybe it, I, I didn't feel maybe because I was so happy and excited about it. I didn't feel as if it was hard or like very, very difficult to get through. It was just a really exciting learning opportunity, just getting, you know, learning all the vocab, all the technical vocabulary, all the things I get to do, all the, you know, all the different parts of the process and just getting to work with a really, really amazing director. Cleopatra, you have been transported into the future. You are the savior of the galaxy. And that's a, a toilet. <laughs> I like the future. No, I was asking you to be like you, you, you being a Latina, and, and how important is for you to be part of, like, to be the main character of this series and the importance to be in, in a series like this? I think any big opportunity like this is so valued and so important to me. And it's, it's, it's really cool to see or to know, at least, that there's a, a Latina voice there you know there you you hear it you feel it and it's there so I think it's it's really really cool and a lot of people don't really you know get into the credits much of like who's doing the voices and stuff like that it's more just you know the character itself and but it's still really really cool you know coming into the credits and seeing such a, a beautiful cast just very diverse from different places and I think the more it's not so much more of like oh, there's forced diversity, there's this, there's this. It's just the fact that it's a show created by a group of people that is so diverse in their experiences and their cultures and their life viewpoints, where they come from. So all of that contributes to, you know, the story and how we make it flourish and how we bring it to life. So it's always a beautiful thing to have different, perspectives and people from different places come together and just kind of work as a team to to make something like this but not gonna lie as as a as a young my family's Cuban and, and they're all medics no one's in the in the in the industry but it's like this young Cuban girl kind of comes in and it's like oh she got this really really big opportunity and I'm able to be here and work hard at what I do so obviously every day is filled with gratefulness and just happy that I am where I am and that I was able to bring Cleo to life. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I understand that feeling because we are like making like a lot of like, not just in all the careers you have, like a, we're little, if I think about myself, I'm from Brazil, from Sao Paulo, and I'm here in LA talking to a lot of like very successful people, like a lot of like you and directors and producers. And, and I understand your feeling, it's amazing. And, and I think it's like a, a, a group, like a, like a collaboration with everybody, with a lot of talent, you know what I mean? And you can find talent everywhere. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love, yeah, that's true. I love that. And also, what do you think kids are going to learn with, the, the, with this new season of uh, Cleopatra? I think as much as us as adults enjoy watching Cleo and all the little uh, inside jokes and everything we have watching it, I think kids who have such big imaginations and their brains are like sponges, they just absorb everything, I think are getting so much more out of the show. It's not just, you know, entertainment and being whatever, they get inspired and they learn and they, you know, they want to mimic things that they see. So I think when they see Cleo, you know, they might want to, you know, have that kind of courage and build that as they're growing, or they might want to have, or, you know, maybe they love the friendship and the friendly dynamic she has with her friends. So they, they want to mimic that and have friends like that in, in their, in real life, or, you know, Cleo is going through this immense, just gigantic type of thing. And it's crazy what she's doing and, but she's able to do it. So maybe it, you know, it inspires them to think big, to dream big, to go after the impossible and just make it and really have fun in their journey. So I think there's so much to learn, even from just a cartoon. And 
it's we truly made it and the team's amazing we truly made it with a lot of love and a lot of fun and hopefully kids not only laugh at it but also get inspired and 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 learn a lot of good things from from Cleo and and the whole bunch and aside from this series are you working any new projects you have anything in like on deck for you for the next for this year that is just starting um, as you said, the year is just starting. So there's definitely a lot of things to look forward to. And hopefully I can share a lot later on this year. Um, but yeah, I, apart from season three of Cleo coming out tomorrow, January 14th, my God, um, which I'm very excited for. Yeah. Um, there's definitely a lot of fun projects going on, a lot of learning, uh, possibilities and opportunities. So I'm excited to be sharing everything and every part of my journey in, in socials and, and yeah, hopefully I'll get to dish all about it soon. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. And, and, and there is anything that you, you would like to play any character or any genre that you'd like to, to do it in the future? Um, voiceover wise, I really want to be in an anime. <laughs> I just think they're so cool. I've, I've, I've done countless um, auditions for them. And it's so, it's so fun every time. <laughs> it's just, it's a different dynamic and it's, it's, it's such a cool thing and it'll be definitely a, a really cool learning experience. So I hope to uh, do that soon. That's a goal for this year. And then as, as a regular role for, uh, for acting, I think the, the, I've always wanted a horror movie. So hopefully... <laughs> Oh my God. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll we'll be on that soon. <laughs> yes, let's throw like in the universe. So maybe you can get like a horror movie. Like there is, and nowadays it's so different. You know what I mean? There is a lot of like uh, those thrillers there. Yes, interesting I think more one. More than anything, I'm excited to hopually be able to do a role that really, really challenges me and gets me out of my comfort zone. So I will put that into the universe. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's awesome. And do you think you can do, you, you would like to do anything in Spanish? Just like fully Spanish? I always did want to do uh, an animation show in Spanish or at least dub, dubbing and just kind of translate it to Spanish or, or at least a Spanish show and translate it to English. I don't know. But I've always, I think I haven't had um, like a Spanish per se project in, in a while. So it's always it's always exciting to see what's up and what, how I can be a part of that world as well. However, if I'm ever able to do a show itself, like Elite or Casa de Babel and things like that, I'm like, oh my God, please. Like, <laughs> that would be amazing in itself. So I, I never, I never close that door, so. Yeah, and, and for us to wrap it up, I wanna, I wanna ask you, do you have an advice to give to, to young young kids that want to pursue a career it doesn't need to be in this business or any business do you have anything like uh, advice to give to them i think more than anything no matter what it's very important to lead with your heart with passion i think it's very important to find something that we really really love and we know we can be good at and we know we can put so much work into it happily because if we're gonna dedicate ourselves to something for the rest of our lives as a career, might as well be it something that's a passion of yours, something that you really love, something that you wanna share with the world. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's in this industry or PR or accounting, whatever it is, it really take into consideration the places you love, the things you love to do, where you wanna be, because, you know, that's just gonna give you the drive to really go through any challenges and just come out even stronger on the other side. So no matter what anyone tells you, no matter if anyone makes you feel bad for what you do or blah, 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 just put it aside, put it aside, put yourself first and really, really do what you love. That's awesome. Lily Mad, thank you so much for your time. And I, I wish you like the best, a lot of success. And I cannot wait for everybody to watch season three of Cleopatra in space that is going to be uh, available starting January 14th. And yes, Peacock. thank you so much. Was of course. Always. Yes. Obrigada. <laughs> De nada. Muchas gracias. Octavian is planning an attack suit. You'll need a team to back you up. Ooh, how about a team handshake? Love it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
But this mission was supposed to demonstrate the importance of teamwork. We are the best team in the galaxy. Yes. <laughs> That's absolutely against protocol. Why can't you just trust me like Akil and Brian do? <laughs> I think I like that girl. Wow! The future is adorable! If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here. <laughs>